the demo on running our own local npm server i'm going to use verdaccio verdaccio is a fork of synopia let me go ahead and install verdaccio so in mac we need the sudo command sudo npm install i'm going to install it globally so dash g attribute and Verdaccio. It's going to take, take a couple of seconds. Once it is done installing, we can run it by running the command Verdaccio. Let's give a couple of more seconds. And it is going to run on port number 4873. So Verdaccio. It's going to start our local npm server and it is running on local host port number 4873 so let me go ahead and go to the 4873 here we go we got our local npm server running at the moment we don't have any packages so uh, next steps let's go ahead and create a package and publish that to our local npm server so let me go to my tutorials folder and let me create another directory. Let me call that calc area. Uh, let me call that calc area and let me cd into that folder. And we need a, a package.json file. So what we can do is we can run npm init to create the package.json file. Um, npm init would uh, take us through a couple of questions to create the package.json. Uh, but all we want is take the defaults, then we can add the dash yep attribute to take all the defaults and make the package.json without any questions. So let me do that. So it created package.json with all this information it kind of took the default uh, package name version description and this is the entry point index.js is the entry point so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a pack uh, package so let me open this folder in uh, vs code so in here we got the package.json with all the defaults in there and this is our entry point so let me go ahead and create a file uh, index.js and um, let me create a function so a little function to calculate the area of a circle so let me uh, let me make a quick function map dot pi multiplied by radius multiplied by radius so then let's export this function module dot export ports equal to let me make it and that's about it we kind of we created an npm package it got a function and the next step we're gonna uh, publish this package so let me go ahead and npm npm publish and in here we're gonna say registry is going to be our local local registry otherwise it will try to publish to whatever registry we have configured um, so let me give the registry to be our local host 48 48 73 we can add this as npm config options we don't have to type every time so let me try to publish this package 
Woohoo, we published. Great, let's go and check out our, wow, we have our package. So we can add a readme file to have more information there to show, but we don't have a readme at the moment. But the good thing is we got our local NPM server running and we published our first package. So next step, let's go ahead and consume this package. So let me create another folder, maybe um, let me and cd into that folder and we need a package.json in here too. So let me do the npm in it. And we created the package.json. So in there, let's install our package, our calc area package. npm install calc area from our uh, local npm server. Local Host colon 4873. So this is going to install the package from our local NPM server. HTTP, HTTP. Awesome. We got we got the package installed. So let me open this folder in VS Code. And let's check it out. It should have a node modules folder with um, our package. It is there, Calcarea packages in there. So let me create a file and we are going to consume this Calcarea. Um, let me call it uh, maybe main main.js. And in here, let me make it a little bit bigger. And in here, we're going to use that package we created um, and installed in here. So, calc area we call to require um, whatever the package name. So, calc area. So, console.log. So let us call this method and and pass in maybe five. So and let me run this in node to check it out. Main cool. We got the result. So it is calculating the area of the circle. So now let us use that in a browser. At the moment it is we are running it in node. Uh, let us use it in a, a web page. So for that, we need either Browserify or Webpack. So let me install Webpack. So sudo npm install uh, dash g webpack. So it's going to install web back globally so that we can convert our main.js into a format which would be um, understood by browsers. So that is installed. So let me call webpack uh, main dot, main dot js into maybe bundle.js. Cool. It created the bundle.js. So this one, the require node, node understands, but we need to convert in such a way that the browser understands so we use Webpack to do that conversion. So, so uh, now let's go ahead and create an index.html file. And, uh, and um, in here, let's uh,
so we need a local uh, HTTP server we need to run the index.html so let me go ahead and install a, a lightweight HTTP server sudo npm install uh, dash g a serve that is a HTTP server lightweight HTTP server so let me install that once that is done let me serve this folder so so it is running in localhost 5000 port number 5000 so let me go ahead and open the folder number um, uh, port number 5000 and on the console ooh -hoo, we got the 78 so let me quickly recap whatever we did so we installed Verdaccio as our local npm server and we created npm package we published to our local npm server then we consumed that package and we used that package in another folder another application and we used node to run it then we use browserify to convert that into a format which can be understood by the browser and we were able to successfully run that package in a in a browser